22Q11.2 deletion syndrome um, is probably has a prevalence of between 1 in 4,000 to 1 in 6,000 depending on what you read. Some people estimate that it might be actually as high as 1 in 1,000 depending on the population. It is caused by a little piece of chromosome that's missing on, on 22. And within that little piece of chromosome that's missing, there's a lot of different genes, a really wide spectrum of symptoms and signs of disease. Some patients have some of them, some patients have others, some patients have most. Um, and it depends and it can vary from person to person. Um, the most common um, symptom of 22Q is cardiovascular disease and some babies who have this syndrome are born with congenital heart disease so there is an abnormality in how the heart is formed. Some children have low calcium levels, many of them have problems with their palate which is the roof of the mouth and they can have a hole in the palate or a cleft palate which can cause problems with feeding, can cause problems with swallowing, can cause problems with speech. Some people have problems with the immune system and they have a harder time fighting infections. Some people have problems with kidneys and how the kidneys are developed. One of the more troubling features for many, especially adults with 22Q, is that they're also prone to getting psychiatric disease. And many patients develop psychiatric symptoms that can be very troubling and can be very severe and challenging to treat, including things like schizophrenia. Um, and even some mood disorders.